Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to show you some more examples of how to take derivatives. Uh, in this case we're going to use, uh, show you some examples where you need to use the product rule. And here's a general concept of what the product rule is. You have the product of two functions and that's why they call this the product rule. You want to take the derivative of a product of two functions and the answer then would be you take the first function, you multiply times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So, two functions, f of x times g of x, we want to take the derivative of that. So we say that y prime, the derivative, is equal to the first, which is x squared minus 5x, times the derivative of the second. In derivative, we use the rule where we take the exponent, multiply times a constant. So it's 3 times 4, which is 12, x to the exponent minus 1, which is 3, plus 2 times 1, times the exponent to the first power, oh, not the zero power because we take 1 minus 1, which is 0. Of course, anything raised to the zero power is 1, and so that will become 2, plus the second, which is 3x to the fourth plus 2x, times the derivative of the first function. That's the derivative of this, so that would be 2 times x to the first power minus 5. Remember, the derivative of 5x is simply 5x drops out because you subtract 1 from the exponent, 1 minus 1 is 0, x to the 0 would be 1, and so we can rewrite this as y prime is equal to x squared minus 5x times 12x cubed plus 2 plus 3x to the fourth power plus 2x times 2x minus 5. Now, technically speaking, we could factor out on things that are common, like we could factor out an x here, we could factor out an x here, and then factor an x out of both terms, but we're not going to do that here. This is not an exercise in algebra, so we'll just leave it like that. We're just interested in knowing how to find the derivative of these. Here's our second example. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, it's the product of two functions, consider this f of x and that g of x. So when we take the derivative, y prime, that's equal to the first function, which is x cubed plus 2x, times the derivative of the second function, so that would be 2 times 2, which is 4x to the 2 minus 1, minus the derivative of 5x is simply 5, of course, then we still have to do the second part, plus the second function times the derivative of the first, so we take the second function, which is 2x squared minus 5x, times the derivative of the first function here, which is 3x squared. Remember, take the exponent, bring it to the front, subtract 1 from the exponent, so that is 3x to the second power, and then the derivative of 2x is simply plus 2. And there you have the derivative of our product of two functions. And again, um, it looks like we could factor out an x here, we could factor out an x there, and simplify a little bit, but we'll just leave it as such to keep it cleaner and easier to see. So, to recap, if you want to take the derivative of a product, you take the derivative, you take the first, you just simply copy the function, you multiply that times the derivative of the second, plus you copy down the second function times the derivative of the first, and that's how you do that. All right. The next thing we're going to do is to show you the quotient rule. So look at the next video and you can see how we solve problems like that or take derivatives of quotient rules.